I remember that I drive home. But when I had the accident, I don't remember nothing. I met Alex when he uh, came as a trauma, as an emergency. Unfortunately, he had very rare and critical injury in his uh, thoracic aorta. And also, he has a significant bleeding in his brain. For that reason, it uh, made his case extremely complex. What the doctor say that uh, my, my life is over. He was deemed as uh, either high risk versus not treatable because of the severity of both conditions. It was uh, almost uh, impossible to do it the standard way without thinking outside the box. I felt something like I have to do something. I have to help this person. I can't just let him die. Well, we perform in this uh, patient with something that we call a T-VAR. T-VAR uh, stands for thoracic endovascular uh, aneurysm repair. Uh, essentially, it's a stent that you can deliver through the groin. So what we did for Alexander was to try to use the standard stent. These stents are designed to be placed in areas that there's no branches. But at this time, we use it in an area that has branches, which is not supposed to be done. Because if you do that, you stop the circulation to the entire brain and you kill the person. We fed the brain, meanwhile, bringing a bypass from his groin up to his brain. Then after that, we had a laser fenestration or a laser catheter opening uh, holes. Uh, to be able to feed the brain with the entire repair from the inside. We were able to put the stain covering the entire aortic arch and connect it from the groin uh, to both sides of his carotid arteries. I feel fantastic because the, the guy that gave me a, another opportunity for, for, for life. Yeah, I see my daughter, I saw my daughter sitting ne next to me. Yeah, I say, wow. Like a normal person driving a car, uh, talking, sharing time with his family. For us, for me, it was extremely rewarding. Every day when I woke up in the morning, I say, thanks God, thanks the doctor, because he you know for him, I don't gotta be here.